Well, big changes could be coming to the U.S. immigration system if a long-awaited Senate bipartisan border deal and foreign aid package becomes law. While the bill has an uphill battle in Congress, if passed, it would dramatically reshape the asylum process and grant new powers to the president. CNN's Gloria Pasmino breaks down the details. Amid an intensifying migrant surge at the U.S. southern border, <laughs> and raging conflicts overseas, a bipartisan legislative proposal was unveiled Sunday to address these crises and dramatically change the U.S. immigration law for the first time in decades. This bill is vital, vital to America's future interests. Among the changes, new emergency authority for the executive branch to restrict border crossings if certain numbers are reached, raising the legal standard of proof to pass the initial screening for asylum, expediting the asylum process from years to six months in a new process for U.S. citizenship and immigration services to decide asylum claims without going through the courts. All the things that we build into this to make this a much stronger system, gaps that are in the law get closed in this structure. The $118.2 billion package also provides critical aid to key U.S. allies abroad, including additional support for Ukraine, security assistance for Israel as well as humanitarian assistance for civilians in Gaza and the West Bank. While Senate leadership is pushing for passage, we have to persist because this legislation is too important to the country. The compromise faces an uncertain future. GOP House Speaker Mike Johnson calling it dead on arrival, despite demands from Republicans to contend with the border crisis. We have to decide as Republicans, what are we going to actually do about the border? The legislation will need bipartisan support in the Senate. So far, a vote has been scheduled for Wednesday. I'm Gloria Pasmino in New York. Back to you.